couldn't sleep last night. Leon Marchand is living rent-free right up here. Currently, I am sleepless in Minneapolis. Hello everyone, I've had a little more coffee than I did last time, so let's get down to business. If you haven't watched our 200 medley relay race analysis video, it's in the description below. While you're there, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any content being put out over the next four days of this NCAA championships. Leon Marchand, already gone Super Saiyan and we haven't even seen a prelim session of this meet. After dropping a spicy, spicy 22-2, 50 breast on that medley relay, he dives in with a three and a half second deficit in the 800 free relay against Carson Foster. This is no scrub he's trying to run down. This is a world champion in this event. Carson has plenty of experience swimming this leg, specifically this anchor leg, so Leon just goes full beast mode. He's out in 20.1. Think about that. This man is almost out in 19 seconds in a 200 yard freestyle. That is the power of the Marchand. So once we get past 50 yards, we really start to notice Marchand using what makes him stand out from the rest of the pack so vividly. And that is his underwaters. My mans gets halfway off of every single wall. Maybe even past halfway. Look at it. I need a ref over here. I'm just kidding. He definitely doesn't go past 15 on any wall. In a 200 freestyle. He's obviously just fighting for his life, doing the best he possibly can. And holy crap, was it working. What started as an insurmountable lead became a very possibly surmountable lead. A lead that everyone in the building started to believe could be overcome because off of every single wall, that dude was going halfway underwater and making up a ton of ground on Carson Foster. Carson was a pro. He split 130.1 in this victory for Texas, and he won with plenty of room to spare, touching over a second ahead of Leon Marchand. This swim meet has lasted a whopping two hours, and Leon Marchand has already proven that he will be the best yard swimmer of all time after this weekend. This means that Leon Marchand is going 136, 328, and 145. Those times might sound crazy and might come back to bite me in the end, but holy crap if this dude hasn't exceeded any expectations we had of him coming into this meet. Those predictions might be a little bit crazy because he's already swum those events very seriously in the past, including this season. He might not drop as much time as we would like or want him to. However, this dude is on another level and I cannot wait to see the rest of it. Once again, if you want to keep up with all the content we're putting out, about Leon Marchand's God Mode Meet and everyone else's really fast swims. Like this video, click that subscribe button, leave a comment on what you think Leon is gonna drop for the rest of the weekend. I wanna hear your thoughts. I'll see you next time.